So here we have Setlist Maker for iOS, iPad, and uh, I'm going to show you now how you can connect it to your keyboard and change all these songs using MIDI uh, by pressing the uh, the iPad screen. Um, so when you download this uh, this app onto your iPad, you'll put all your songs in that you play in your band. And uh, these are the songs that we've got here for my band, Separate Ways, Boys of Summer, uh, She's Not There. And uh, I've rigged these up with a MIDI, with the iRig MIDI data cable. So now when I press those, um, the iPad screen, it will change on the, uh, on the keyboard. The keyboard that I'm using here is a COG M3 but uh, it will work on other keyboards, which you'll see shortly. Um, i rig it up to a Nord Stage 3 as well later on, and I'll show you how this is done as well, uh, just a bit later on. But it makes it so much easier, um, especially if you're doing lots of different songs in different bands. Uh, finding your way around a keyboard can be quite tricky, but if you... If you've got all the songs on your iPad and you can put them all in different groups uh, so they're all very easy to get to. It's a really good uh, software package is this. Uh, but uh, you can download, I'm not sure if it's for free. I think most of it is for free. I might have paid extra for the, uh, for the MIDI part to transfer the uh, MIDI signals. I've had it about eight years this app so I forget what I paid for. Um, first of all, but uh, it's good. You can add notes, add sheet music, add anything to it, really. And uh, here we are on the Nord Stage 3. Again, just the same old stuff. Press your buttons and it changes changes the keyboard to that sound uh, that you've got programmed in. So I'm going to show you on Sex on Fire. You can see it doesn't change because I've not programmed that in yet. There we go, it's not changing, it's still staying on the last one that we selected. So what we need to do is go back a few pages, one, two, three, I think it is. We can go down to MIDI presets, find the song that you've already put in, Sex on Fire, and then press MIDI Learn. Move it to the song Sex on Fire on your keyboard, I've not put it in yet, so we're just going to put it as position 221, which is empty at the moment, but I'll create that as the uh, Sex on Fire patch shortly. And then just save it, save at the bottom, it's as simple as that, MIDI Learn, and then save. And now let's just test it, view, I'll be alright, don't stop, smooth, and then Sex on Fire, 221, there it is, goes on to 221. And it's as simple as that. A word of warning, if you've got a newer iPad and you buy one of these data cables like I did on eBay thinking it'll work, it won't.